Hey, go back here. So, new BR rewards, new stuff, everything going on. Got a lot of things I want to talk about, right? It's going to be one of those videos where I'm just pontificating without any real purpose and uh, things I think about MLB the show right now. Of course, let's go over the news of the hour, which is the BR rewards. You got Harper and stuff. We can look at the program if you want. Um, some silvers and whatnot. Wagner's always popular. Buner's some. Uh, okay powers basically silvers for like the program to, to drive it on we got some golds moreland batanzas wait but didn't we have batanzas no we didn't have batanzas who am i oh, i'm just maybe thinking of the other batanzas um nasty nasty slurve yeah his slurve was incredible so this batanzas actually is a, is a halfway decent reliever uh it, it is crazy like going this year and like you know batanzas used to be top of the meta reliever and, like, this year, like, he doesn't have a uh, sinker, cutter, and so people, like, forgot about him. It is weird how the game's changed. Sorry, let me turn on my microphone. Uh, from year to year, from, like, what was it, three or four years ago now, Batanzas was, li like, literally unhittable. Now he's like, eh, he's okay. We have to deal with sinkers and shit uh, that are way worse than uh, what Batanzas can throw at us. But that slurf, just like we saw see on Mike Pryor, could be nice. Uh, Posada himself. I think I saw somebody tweet like his 2007 year would have been a better year for a silver slugger because he hit much better average there. Um, but overall, not even close to what we can get through, you know, free just by grinding some showdowns. Some fairly easy showdowns in Team Affinity. Um, so, a pretty well balanced uh, catcher, I'd say. He doesn't have the pop time quirk, but you can still throw guys out with that 80 arm. Um, and then like the BR rewards, Bryce Harper. It's just wild, the stats these cards are getting, right? 74 on his speed is like his worst one but he's got like 95 arms so like parallel five um you got a, you got a perfect arm not quite 80 speed but still what would you need that for uh it's 79 that's not bad obviously more speeds the better but kind of kind of crazy right because like uh, i feel like is this game getting a little too end game because like look at this kenley jansen 116 125 hits in k per nine um they gave him a sinker you know they gave it to him last year too um, last year he was, I think it was a BR card last year too, or was he a World Series reward later in the year? I don't recall, but it, I remember him being expensive and not seeing him a whole lot do that fact. Obviously, the cutter's got to be dang near perfect. It is basically a maxed out cutter um, with 99 break, 99 uh, location, and that's something maybe that's very hard to take care of. So we got another uh, Kenley. They're going about five, half a million stubs. Just wait. They're going to fall to what, about 150 probably thousand stubs here. Uh, in a little bit when people start finishing that program off. Um, some people already have. I'll show you how some people are doing it. I messed up. I'm so sad I'm at 12 and OBR. But I'll show you how people are getting these things day one uh, without having to, just by waiting on 12 and O's in a second. So my biggest point for those are, are, are we reaching endgame too quickly, right? With TA3, I saw this complaint a lot. And I see a lot of people like, oh, people are complaining about free content and whatnot. Um, it's... It's not a valid, uh, valid, uh, I guess, argument, or not, it's not a value, it's not a, it's not an invalid argument that people grinded for a long time for Chipper and a lot of the other cards, and then TA3 came uh, away and, and wiped all their, basically, progress, and it kind of killed their excitement for them, because there's no more, like, things to do at the TA3, because we got endgame cards, and for that, I'm like... You know, it's not a bad point, right? Like, it, it, TA3 invalidated a lot of a lot of the old cards. And, you know, they're not necessarily, like, perfect. They're not nearly endgame for, like, he, like there's a few endgames, right? The, the relievers are endgame. DeGrom is endgame. But, like, other than that, none of these things are, like, insanely um, busted. Totally, like, uh, ruining the game good. Um, but uh, there's some ones that are pretty damn good. Because, like, when you look at Finest last year... The argument goes, like, you look at, like, Darvish, who's getting, like, 99-102, and this was happening, like, you know, in playoff times, like, months from now, um, versus that, like, Xander, we got a, we got a better Xander than that, and he wasn't even a very high-rated card. The program, Maryfield was a finest card. Now, to be fair, last year's finest cards were routinely, like, uh, crapped on for being really bad. Like, story last year, like, for Stage 4 TA, uh, we got two better stories than that already this year. Uh, we got Bauer. Actually, Bauer was pretty nice um, with his with his per nines at that. But like, we're already seeing this in July, right? And so when last of these things came out much later, you gotta wonder where's the game going now. Bieber's also got really nine per nine. So it is it is in the fact that like you know ninety nines are not built the same. Obviously, Ken Griffey, Willie Mays, whatever, Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig. We probably won't get ten Williams or Ty Cobb this year. But like they'll have different swings. They'll play differently. So even though we're getting close to end game cards. They're not actually going to be endgame, and there's still a little bit to go with it, but it is tough, you know, a, a quarter of the way into the year to get guys that conceivably be on your roster to the end of the game. So, 
that is what it is let's go back to the br actually let's do the program before i go to the, like br how people are getting it how you can save your 12 and o's so today's the 20th uh the thursday content the 22nd headliners pack and we got the fifth inning program coming on the 30th the july has been a wild month of content right just absolutely wild did we get it's like was it like the first was like the fourth inning program um now we got the fifth inning program it was something like uh, did the fourth go live in in july wow july is july is absolutely crazy thursday content double xp week so you can really make it up for the sixth inning xp you can get up there to 650 and uh or sorry fourth inning xp to get to 650 and get your 90 plus live series pack headliners pack we're also getting a, a signature series legend expected to be similar to uh the logan gilbert that we got today 96 overall around that range for it gilbert is not that good i will say and i think he's, he's priced about what he is uh 20k for 96 he's he, you probably won't ever see him out on the field there it's just it's just not a good card not good uh, amount of pitches right there with this, no sinker cutter um uh, but uh, overall i guess it's nice to get something different so Maybe I'll put in an order just to, just to own them. Create buy order. 20. I'm not going to open patch from it all. So, I got through a lot of what I wanted to talk about with uh, the, the end game cards and the TA3 and validating a lot of the grind that a lot of people did and very disappointed in them. But uh, in the end, we'll, we'll see where the game goes from here. But, like, I, it's crazy, right? Like, a lot of people are complaining about how good the pitchers all are now. Hitters have gotten a, a similar boost. But, man, it's... Like this Vlad's crazy. Like this Vlad absolutely like you can you can miss your the PCI and he'll still out of the park. So it's very fun. They're bringing some very powerful uh, options into the game. But yeah, it is it is kind of getting to that stale point where a lot of people um, are gonna have you're gonna see a lot of like Trey Turner's out there. You're gonna see a lot of the same pitchers over and over. Um, Edward Cabrera, Degrom, Otani, that kind of stuff along the rotation. I guess I can sub him out and put in uh, lighter. We'll say, but. Neither here nor there. Something else I wanted to talk about. BR rewards. Right? And how people are saving them. So, I was under the mistaken belief that you could save your 12-0 and 0 pack, your flawless 12-0, and 0, and get some of the new 12-0s. and 0s. It's because I went there, and it's given me this pack, right? So, if I open it, I'm not going to see the new ones, sadly, because I got the uh, the new packs. Oh, wow. Am I taking lighter? Is lighter really going for the most? Over packs in, in, in the new ones? All right. So, I guess I'll take another lighter here. Um, I guess I could I could close out my game. So how you get out of option packs? You just close your game, quit, uh, boot it back up. Uh, but overall, what you need to do is if you get 12 and 0, don't go back into BR, right? So if you go 12 and 0 before the BR changes over and it's pretty quick, uh, like only a few days away, like it was for me, just go and don't go back in. Don't get your pack, and then once you go back in, you can get your card. Obviously, you can wait 11 and 0 until the day of, then play your 12 and 0 game to try and get that last card. That's like the legitimate way of doing it. Uh, but people have discovered if you don't go back into BR, you get 12 and 0 flawless when you do, and the flawless reward will happen after you go 12 and 0 into the new season. So just FYI, wait to go into the BR program to the new seasons to get those cards, and you can make a half million stub versus my mistake. I'm making a fifth of that of of that number today, whereas like maybe I could have made you know if people would if I would have sell now for like 700k, maybe somebody would brought that. So it's a huge mistake I just made. What's that like? $400 mistake I made uh, not knowing the difference between going to the BR Battle Royale menu again and uh, not. So, just FYI down the road. So, what else is going on in MLB The Show right now that we want to talk about outside of, uh, you know, fifth inning program headlighters pack? It looks like it's kind of like, we could talk a little bit about the market. I think my market update, the next one will happen on the 30th. So, just FYI, I'll probably do a market update video uh, next week, the 26th. There's a lot of changes going on in the 30th. Like, they're taking a break, they said, from this Friday's update, so it won't be. So I just want to let you know. That's why we didn't get a market video this week because it's not happening. But the 30th is going to be a big time with, like, live series updates, fifth inning program, kind of going crazy. So, you know what? A solid July. You know, I think this game, even though this game, like, you know, you can argue we're getting the end game cards into the July here. Like, if you play both this game and Madden, the fact that they both play play out at the same time, like Madden goes through, you know, February-ish through the Super Bowl into March, and then this game comes out, you can play that and, and get all these awesome rewards all the way up until Madden comes out and go back to back. So for me personally, who does both those games a ton, like I think if I go into my, like here, let me, let me, uh, let me go into my, uh, how many, how much I've done this game so far. Where do I go? My profile. No, that's not it. I looked at it yesterday. It's under Universal Profile. Yeah, right here. 
40 days. Let me see. It's nothing doxable here, is there? All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 40 days that I've put into this game since it came out. So we're we're pretty hardcore into it. Um, with with the uh, the game, and so like 40 days and in, in how many months? <laughs> three months or a little bit more than three months since it's been out. We hit, we hit it pretty hard. We hit this game. Um, and you know what? We have a blast. So like, I've definitely got my money worth putting it in. How much how much time are you guys at? How many uh how many days have you guys gotten into the game? Let me know in the comment section below. But overall, you know, I'm gonna yeah, I got some more you know videos I want to do on this uh, game and, and what's going on with it. And so you'll see those here this week. We'll we'll continue our uh, uh, tier list of different positions here. But that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.